name is Mary Ann Babusha and I'm a visiting laser physicist at the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory based in California. Uh, probably my background gave it away. <laughs> but yeah, I work with high power lasers. I'm actually a student from Imperial College London in the UK and I'm doing my research out here at SLAC. Um, so my last experiment was kind of recreating the conditions found in space. Um, so I was looking personally at the interiors of planets like Neptune and Uranus. And luckily for us, the physics on the small scale, so laboratory scales, is the same as the physics on the large scale. So we can do lab experiments um, and then scale them up to astrophysical scales to find out more about the universe that we live in. Um, so that field is called laboratory astrophysics and that's what I'm doing currently. But I would like to sway my research field down to the medical physics route because that's how I got interested in STEM. Um, so originally actually I've been on this roller coaster of careers, um, at least in my brain. Uh, I originally wanted to be um, an artist and then I wanted to be an athlete and then I wanted to be a medical doctor and then I fell in love with medical physics and that's how I studied physics at university. So my physics teacher, thank you, <laughs> um, introduced us to a field called medical physics um, and I was at Oxford in one of the national labs there um, and I got introduced to this field and it had everything that I wanted to do. It had maths, I loved maths, it had physics, I loved physics and it had um, a chance to save lives and, and that's what I wanted to do. Um, but I also loved maths and physics and I really didn't want to see people suffer. Um, so I fell in love with that subject and that's how I got into studying physics. Um, but what did, I, what did I like doing when I was younger? Well, I'm kind of, I have STEM related parents. So my dad is a handyman and my mum is a physics technician at a school. And so basically I was introduced to physics from a very young age and whenever something was broken in the house, me and my dad would like tear it apart and then try and fix it and then put it back together again. And so I became very hands-on from a very early stage and I think that's why I'm an experimental physicist now because I, I love dealing with tools. Um, I love playing around with optics and, and stuff like that. And so um, I think those skills definitely help um, as an experimentalist. So what inspires you about your work and why does your job matter? Um, I think we are curious beings and we want to know answers to the questions that we have about our universe and so at least for me doing doing the research that I'm doing right now is like it's teaching us more about the universe that we live in and I think as curious beings we love doing that but um, as I said before I do want to move my research into medical physics and hopefully one day help save, like, save lives later down the line. Um, so why study STEM? I think for me personally, STEM is such a great career to like humanity. You can like go from saving lives to improving um, quality of lives um, to solving the world's problems, like our energy problem. And I think for me, STEM is such a, a huge thing for basically building our society to such a better place um, and our world to a better place. And so I think for me, that's why I study STEM is I'm hoping one day I can make a difference to the world in some, in some way, whether it be small or large, um, I definitely want to make a difference. Um, so what do I do in my free time? Well, I'm a very creative person. I love art. Um, I love climbing, I love playing, um, you guys call it soccer, I am British so we say football um, and I also love like singing and music and dance um, as well and but I think more importantly one of my biggest hobbies is science communication. So I grew up in a school where I was kind of told that physics was a guy subject, I was the only girl from my physics class to take um, physics onto higher education. Um, and so I always kind of felt left out and I think for me being able to portray the image that you can be anybody um, and if you love a subject you should be able to do it um, I think that's important for me to get that message out there um, and so at least for me going back to my school and doing a science club was such an amazing opportunity to help change that stereotype in my school and I think through my blog and like videos like this I hope to change that stereotype and make sure that anybody that wants to do a subject can do a subject without having this negative kind of comments or whatever um, put on them. So do what you love. Um, and if you want to follow my journey, um, or my blog, or whatever, <laughs> um, you can follow me on Twitter at 
girl underscore in underscore physics and then if you want to follow the journey of the lab that I work in who's in doing incredible stuff to like solve our energy problems or but working on batteries and making them better or um, finding out more about photosynthesis so we can capture that that energy process um, you can find out more about the lab also on their Twitter but their website and and stuff like that um, and that's at slack lab um, but yeah thank you so much for listening and do the subject that you want to do and I hope nobody ever tears you down or tells you that you can't do something. You can.